Hello everyone. Let us quickly answer this grade 11 photosynthesis question from a previous life sciences question paper. The diagram below represents a cell organelle. So this is the cell organelle that you are given and there's obviously structures within this organelle. So identify the organelle represented in the diagram. This is easy peasy. That is the chloroplast. Remember the organelle is the chloroplast then the pigment is the chlorophyll. So if you were to write chlorophyll for this particular question, your answer would be incorrect because they are specifically asking for an organelle. Give labels for two and three. So there is structure labeled two and there is structure labeled three. So two is obviously the double membrane. The double membrane. I hope you guys can see my handwriting. <laughs> In one of the videos, there's a learner that commented and said, Ma'am, we sometimes don't see your handwriting. So I'm trying my best, guys. I think it is improving and I'm trying my best. But if you feel like you still can't see it properly, just let me know in the comment section and I will I will try. I will try and try and try up until you guys can see my handwriting. Okay, so label three, that will be the thylakoid. Thylakoid, if you say granum, that is also correct. So thylakoid, remember, is the disc that contains the chlorophyll pigment and grana is basically a pack of those discs. Next question, 1.5.3, give the letter and the name of the part. Um, so I'm going to cross this out because our structures are not labeled in letters. They're actually labeled in numbers. So we are going to give the number and the name of the part that stores glucose. Let's see. Remember, glucose is stored in the starch grain. So there is the starch grain. The number is one. Remember, it's two marks here, guys. The number is one and the name starch grain. So when we mark, it will be marked independently. Mark for the number and mark for the name. So yeah, that will be one, one, and that is one. So the number and the name of the part that forms enzymes for photosynthesis. So enzymes are proteins we know. So those will be formed in the ribosome. So that is number five. Number five um, and the name ribosome. Okay. Then the next one letter sorry number and name of the part that is the site of light independent reactions they are just telling you or talking about the dark phase here yeah. so exactly where the dark phase takes place it takes place in the stroma and there is the number that is number four so number four uh, and the name is the stroma so str O M A. One mark for the number and one mark for the name. What is the name of the energy carrier molecule that is formed in light dependent phase? So that's the light phase. So the molecule that carries energy that is formed in the light phase is ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Remember in the thylakoids, that will be the light reactions taking place light dependent rather reactions and then the stroma this liquid part um, that will be the dark phase the light independent reactions i hope that is clear guys this is one topic that you really need to aim to get high marks in because it's really not difficult all the best guys